Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. I'm up early today before the heat kicks in to mount the two solar panels to the roof of the trailer. I'm gonna go on the top curve. I know a lot of you say put it straight on the roof, but I don't wanna, because I don't wanna touch the membrane. So I'm gonna glue mine along that edge and up over the arch of the trailer because my trailer always sits facing south, even in the winter time in my yard. So it'll charge all winter and stuff like that. So that's the way I want her. If I go to a track or anything, I'll just park her whichever way south is, right? And there you go. So this is how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna urethane mine on, which holds a windshield in. There's a whole bunch of guys doing a whole bunch of different ways and there's no right or wrong way. Just do it however it holds it. That's what I say. I'm gonna use urethane. When I was a kid, I put a spoiler, a super spoiler on a Honda Accord back glass and all I did was urethane and it stayed on there forever. That's what I'm gonna do. What I gotta do right now is sl slap her up there and give her a mark job so we know where to scuff and prime it. There you go. Mark. First thing you wanna do is slap her up there and mark her out. Put it up like that. So this is actually gonna work out. So mark there, and go there, and there. There, there. Thanks to Gold Glass Accessories for letting me the gun and the urethane act there. Why wouldn't they? All right, so we'll start by giving a little scalp. Put the bite to you. How you doing? Perfect. So now that we got that scuffed, we got to come over here and we got to scuff the solar pads. Nothing like a scuff of roots. Ooh, it's getting warm out already, Captain. So I'll scuff these up real good. There you go. So you know, these are 100 watt panels. So I'm putting 200 watts panels on the trailer. These are the flexi ones. They're from Amazon. I'll put the link below for you. They're not the top of the line, but they're, they're gonna work kind of kind. Hey. This is more like a demonstration model. There's no sense in spending too much money on this. Just gotta make sure it's gonna work first. So this is what they call activator. So they're gonna wipe this on all over the panel. And then we'll do the same on the trailer. There we go. There we go. We'll let that flash. We'll go up on the trailer and do the same thing. One side. Down we come. Hey, Emily, get inside. Whew, I'm warm, Captain. I sweat my balls act off already. I'm trying to get this done, that sun's coming up around the tree. Once that hits, we're done. Like this side. <laughs> now we're ready for a gun job. First thing you want to do before you cock these things is take these wires and tape them to the front of the panel so they don't get into your goop. There's nothing worse than flipping it over and putting a wire right into your goo. You don't want to do that. Break. Could have done this before I activated it, but hey, whatever it works. There's one. So now what we do is we're gonna put a nice healthy bead of urethane on the panel. We'll keep away from the edges so it doesn't have too much food out. What the hell? We had a blob, we did. There we go. Just like that, Captain. So we have about uh, 10 minutes to get this up there before it sets up, which is plenty of time. Just make sure you get it in the right spot the first time. Let me tell you what. There we go. And now we'll just push all this down. I'll tell you one thing, this room has a lot of give, doesn't it? How you doing? There we go. That's on there for life, I'll tell you that right now. Now after I'm done this and the urethane cures, urethane lets out a chemical. So you gotta let it cure, but when I'm done, I'm gonna run a clear bead around it too, just so the wind can't get under it, just in case. Didn't quite get close enough to the edge on that one. Okay, up we go again. The humidity today is almost unbearable. It rained last night and it's just, ugh. Oh. Drop 
There we go. Up top we go. What are you doing? Okay, so that's all there is to mount them, believe it or not. Well, there we go. The panels are mounted. Next is the wiring. I'm going to bring it down beside the uh, awning because I don't want to drill holes in my roof. I'm not doing that. Coffee time. I had to order a couple more things off Amazon. I had to order some roof wire tie downs because as you see in the intro video there, there's a, uh, the wire is just kind of all over the freaking place up there. So I got to get some wire tie downs for that so we can get that in shape. And they didn't give me enough wire to even get to the bottom of the trailer, as you can see. And I don't want to drill holes in my roof to run the wires in. So I ordered two more lengths of this, a little longer to go down and under the trailer. And then I can tie it in that way. That way I don't have any splices outside. And then we just got to cock the rest up there. Cock the rest of the panels. But other than that, they're mounted as you've seen. And they mounted good. So we'll get some cock. We'll go around the outside edges. We'll get some wire. Hopefully we'll have that this week. I went on Amazon and I found two that will have it here in a couple days. So that's good because, we, you know, we need it right now. I'd like to have it right now. That way I could do this video right now. That's my only pet peeve about this cheap kit, which is the links below for this, is they don't give you enough wire to get in the trailer. So if you order it, make sure you order a couple lengths of that wire. It's not cheap. It's 50 bucks for two 20 footers. So it's not cheap stuff. I did a review on it and that's what I told them. They need more wire in the box. You need to get down the side of your trailer or in through the roof and down without slicing it. You know, you can slice it, but I don't like slicing it. So I'm not slicing it. That's what I say. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. It will be continued on this one. It is what it is. Like I said, I was gonna finish it all for you today, but I can't. Frank, hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification. I love you all. I'm glad you're here. And you know what to do for now.